Hello parents and children, my name is Chrisanne Dawson and I work for the University of Arizona Cooperative Extension. I live here in Payson, Arizona and I work for Gila County doing vision and hearing screening for preschool kids. Today we're going to do a literacy lesson on the book called Good Night Gorilla. And this lesson mainly is for parents to try to encourage comprehension with their children as they're reading, that you would ask them questions. Ask them questions to help the children try and predict what's going to be happening next in the book. So this book was written by Peggy Rathman. She said she wrote it for her own little children a long time ago, and it's been a very famous book for a long time. She also illustrated or drew the pictures for the book. So Peggy Rathman is the author and the illustrator. And this book is called Good Night Gorilla. Good Night Gorilla is about a zookeeper who's trying to get his animals to go to sleep one night. And there's a picture here of a balloon. It looks like the mouse is trying to cut the balloon string. So pay attention to that balloon throughout the whole story. Children, what time of the day do you think it is? Do you think it's nighttime? Do we know that because the moon is out and because the zookeeper is using a flashlight? And what do you think's happening here? Is the gorilla stealing his keys? What do you think's going to happen if the gorilla has the keys? Good night, gorilla, the zookeeper says. But the gorilla climbs out of his cage. He has the keys and the man doesn't even know it. And where do we see up here? Looks like our balloon's floating away. Good night, elephant. The zookeeper says good night to the elephant. But is this door locked? Nope, it's not. It's already been unlocked by the gorilla. Good night, lion. The lion seems a bit surprised that the zookeeper is saying good night, but that the gorilla has the key to his cage. What do you think is going to happen? Would you like to have a lion out of his cage if you were nearby? I sure wouldn't. Good night, hyena. Good night, giraffe, the zookeeper says, as the uh, gorilla is letting his friends out of their cages. Now everybody's following the zookeeper and he's not even paying attention. Good night, armadillo. What do you notice way up here? Is that the balloon floating away? Look at all these animals outside their cages. How could the zookeeper not know that a bunch of animals were following him? And here they come. Here's the zookeeper's house where he lives. Here's where the zoo is. Right here it has the word zoo. And on this little sign it says zookeeper. And they're all following him to his house. He's getting ready to go home and go to bed. You're right. He's getting ready to go to bed. So he goes into his house to get ready for bed. Walks into the room. Everybody's following him. Here's the mouse following way up here, so tiny you can hardly see it. Looks like a balloon, still floating away. What do you think is going to happen when all of the animals get into the room? Looks like they're settling down to take a sleep with the zookeeper and his wife. Look, she's already laying down. They still have the light on, so they haven't turned the light off. He's taking his shoes off, getting ready for bed. We don't wear our shoes to bed, do we? No, we don't. Everybody's ready for bed. Good night, uh, my dear, she says. She gets ready to turn off the light after saying good night to the uh, zookeeper. What do you think happens when she turns the light off and says good night? Everybody says good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night, good night, good night. Uh-oh. The zookeeper's wife realizes that something is not right. She has her eyes wide open. It's dark in the room and she doesn't know where all these good nights are coming from. What do you think she thinks? Maybe she thinks somebody else is in the room besides just her and her husband. So 
So she flips the light back on and she notices the gorilla next to her in bed. And here's the lion's head, right? She sees all the animals, the giraffe and the elephant. So she could wake up her husband and say, take these animals back to their zoo. But she decides to do it herself. She leads them all back to the zoo, all of them. Leads them all back to the zoo. They're all going back. Here's the word zoo up here. It's still dark, very it's nighttime. Everybody's supposed to go to sleep. And she says, good night, zoo. But she's still being followed by the gorilla who has the keys and the mouse who's still dragging that banana. And up here, way up here is the balloon so tiny you can hardly see it. She gets back in bed. Good night, dear, she says. Her husband's mostly sleepy. Good night. And then the animals are crawling back in the bed. The gorilla and the little mouse crawling into bed. Here's the keys that they left behind. And then the mouse says, good night, gorilla. The gorilla doesn't say anything. Why does the gorilla not say anything? Do you think he's already sleeping? I think he is. And that's the end of the story. Good Night Gorilla by Peggy Rathman. So what do you children think of that book? Was it fun? Did you notice the balloon in almost every picture? What would you do if you woke up to find lion in your bedroom or a giraffe or even a gorilla sleeping in your bed seems to me you would smell all those animals in your room so parents this book is called good night gorilla it's part of the make way for books and book magic program out of tucson my name is chris ann dawson i work with the university of arizona cooperative extension and this is just a small literacy lesson based on the book called good night gorilla by peggy rath